911. I need the cops here at Hartford Distributors right away, shooting. What's going on? Who got Somebody shot? Somebody got shot. I got shot. Okay, I need some information, sir. Who Somebody, got shot? Somebody, we need the cops. What, Omar Thornton shooting people. I just got shot. Okay, I need to know what his name is. His name is like. Omar Thornton. He's a black guy. Get the cops here right away, please. Sir, stay on the line with me. My partner all over the place. Okay. How many people got shot? I don't know. Okay, you don't know. And you're shot where? In my head. You're shot in the head? Yeah. And what's your name? My name is Steve Hollander. Okay. Well, is that mental health? Health? Who's the person shooting people again? His name is Omar Thornton. He's a black guy. He's wearing shorts. Okay, black man, shorts, anything else? What kind of gun? Uh, I don't know. I didn't see it. You didn't see it. And where are you in the building, sir? I'm hiding in an office. Hiding where? In an office. People are running all over the place. I don't think he's going to get there. I don't know. Over there? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Holy yeah. shit. not to think about it if it hasn't happened in your city, but across America, more and more people are thinking about the state of the roads and bridges and waterways they use every day. Problems with infrastructure can inconvenience your commute, or in some cases, it can kill you. And it continues to fall apart in cities, large and small. RT correspondent Christine Frizzau has the story. What goes up must come down. A simple law of gravity, and it seems to be what is happening in America? The Americans seem to think that the party's going to last forever and the holiday goes on and on. And they don't really see the error of certain things. I mean, uh, Thomas Rainsford Lounsbury was an educator in the 19th century and he said, It never ceases to surprise me at the infinite capacity of the human mind to resist the introduction of useful knowledge. And that's what it is. People know better, people sense better. But they go against it. They just think it's, they, they, they there are like, no consequences. It, it me it's a steady downhill slide. Uh, you know, we're had This country is really finished. I mean, it really is technically finished. It's just a matter of playing out the end game. Well, it's true. It's true. You can see it. You can smell it. Anyone who can't see it or smell it doesn't understand. Yeah. Uh, there's a medical term that they use in hospitals when a person has no future left on this planet they can't be helped anymore uh, and they put it on the chart ctd circling the drain and that's what we're doing we're slowly circling the drain and and, and the circles get smaller and they get faster <laughs> Shalom, and welcome once again to Elders of GMS, giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Today's topic is entitled, The End is Being Manifested. And if you've been watching the news, which you're supposed to watch the news, you can see that the end is being manifested in a big way. They're still going through that mess over there in Japan with the earthquake slash um, tsunami slash um, reactors uh, melting down, slash radiation poisoning. So there's certain articles out there where they're basically saying, they don't want to say it, but they're saying that Japan might never come back to to, to where it was uh, prior to that earthquake. What, about a week, week and a half ago? And this morning, today is, the, uh, is March uh, 26, 2011, and just today when I woke up, there was break, breaking news 
out there in, in um, England, and they're rioting again. Then there was another situation in one of these uh, uh, places um, in the world, I forget, I don't know if it was Syria, it was one of these other, there was another place that, that uh, Algiers. Algiers. So this is happening, this is like a trend now. This is a trend now. It started with um, Greece, and uh, there was another nation, what's that nation in uh, Russia? Uh, Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan. Um, now they 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 they're riding out there, they're riding in Greece. They're, these riots are flaring back up. Now you got uh, this guy, um, Barack Obama. He led the charge uh, to uh, bring a no f a no fly zone into Libya, which is totally outside of his jurisdiction. And he didn't even go to Congress, so there's a big mess over that, and that's an impeachable offense. So this guy is just doing whatever the hell he wants to do, and he, he needs, your people are finding out that he can very well be the worst president uh, in the history of the United States. And I believe I said that last week, whether it was on this show or the uh, GMS in transit. But, but, but this society's going down, man. This society, there ain't, there ain't no way you can buy extra time you can bring time back. You can turn the clock back. You had a you had a time to go, and now now you're at your end. And it's only fair because the Babylonians, the ancient Egyptians, when they came into power, they had a time to go down, and did not they go down? They never came back to their greatness. The Babylonians, the same thing. The medieval Persian Empire, the same thing. Uh, Alexander the Greek, the Romans, the ancient Romans. Uh, Great Britain, 